Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to make an old southern style recipe and it's peanut butter cookies. You can use any peanut butter but this is the kind that we use and it's uh, honey roasted and um, this one calls for lard which we're using the butter flavor Crisco but you can buy it in the tub. You can buy the I usually always use the regular Crisco, but I'm gonna do this one with the butter. Also, you, you use self-rising flour, but I forgot and only have all-purpose flour. And it takes a couple of cups. So you can take and put one and a half teaspoons of baking powder to each cup of all-purpose and it turns it into self-rising flour, basically. Anyway, it takes a dash salt, some vanilla extract, some brown sugar, regular sugar, some eggs, right? Yep. Okay, I guess I'm starting. Mm, should I do the dry first or the, I can't remember. Huh, dry first or? I think it's dry first, then yeah. you put the wet ingredients in. It's been a while since you cooked them. Okay. Also, I already got some Hershey Kisses pull because my kids love them with Hershey Kiss. I make some with Hershey and some without. You got enough spoons? Yeah. You don't sift the flour? No. It's one cup. two cups sometimes according to how it, it mixes up I might add another half a cup I just won't know until I get there put a dash of salt you have to put this also because of the um missing the what I say the self-rising flour we're using all-purpose so now it's gonna be just one and a half for each um cup so it's gonna be three tablespoons then I said taste it. tablespoons or teaspoons. Mm, I can't remember. Oh mm. Hold on. I want to go look that up Five first. Seconds. Come on, Chris. I got it right here. Say it is three tablespoons. Three teaspoons. Really yeah, you would have really messed up. up. I had measuring spoons. That's fine. So it's three of these. Let's put that one. Two. Fella, what are you doing? Three. So, and we got that. Hold on, I'm gonna just mix it a little bit to get it all distributed. Okay, y'all. Sorry, we have a blind dog, and we have a cat, and our blind dog irritates the cat. And she was trying to get in my daughter's room. Okay, I've got the dry ingredients added. Did you do that? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, it's half a cup of brown sugar, and it doesn't have to be packed in the cup really tightly. Just kind of loosely. Half a cup of that. And half a cup of white sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, you can use all white sugar. It's not gonna make too big of a difference, just a little bit. I'd mix that probably. Yeah. Okay, now we got, we're gonna use, we use Madagascar, pure vanilla, from Madagascar vanilla beans. 
And it's really, really good. Oh, dear Lord. I have animals all over. Lucky. Uh-uh. Stop. Right when we start a video, he's, I know, he he's scratches always... and everything. Oh, my God. Okay, I did one tablespoon of that. Got the policy. Okay. Okay, back again. <laughs> Sorry. You forget when you have so many dogs, cats. Okay, two large eggs. Trash bag right there. Let's start with that. I'm not gonna just. <laughs> Why did I do that? I meant to lock it. Oh my god. Y'all don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong side. Okay. We do one cup of peanut butter. Oh, that was a brand new one. Like I said, you can use any peanut butter. We just like the yeah. the honey roasted. Is it honey roasted? Yeah. yeah. My mom used to use like the really, really like big tub that was like really, really cheap. You know? And you always get like the great value ones from uh, Walmart yeah. and stuff too. This or Jiffy just, or peanut, you know, any yeah. of them. This just gives it a, a honey flavor. It's not really bad though. It's really pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more. Also, if you're, you know, if you want to, but I don't know why you would do it, you could substitute lard for butter, but actually lard makes a, a better cookie, and it melts all the slower, so it holds the cookies shape, and they taste so much better, but I know some people, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not that. All the newer recipes have butter and stuff yeah, in it. All the lard. older recipes have... Yeah, the trust lard. me, if you try them. You can tell, well, I think you can tell the difference, maybe. Oh, yeah, you can totally tell how much better it tastes. Like I said, there's probably a bunch of recipes on there without lard, but. And this is one cup stick. That's why I'm doing these, so I won't have to pack the thing. Whole cup. Lord, it looks like butter, don't it? But it's not butter. So. Yeah, no. Lord, I don't know if I should break that, but no. Do it Just really slow. slow. You put it, should put the uh, shield on. Let's say you don't want to ever mix it to. Just get them more. Yeah, get them close. Let me see. I want to take this and do that first. You know what I'm saying? In a few minutes. And this is definitely not going to take. Not going to take any more flour. I don't know why sometimes it seems like it takes. More flowers. This one actually looks really dry right now. Mm-hmm. Deep enough peanut was that enough peanut butter? Mm-hmm. It's fine. It just oh, it's it needs to be mixed a little bit more. That's what it is. All the lard is up top. And you don't want it really really this is a it's thick it's just gotta be really thick oh i can smell it smell it mm -hmm. that's good I 
found new. It's gonna be I found new. I found no new. New. Yeah, it's gonna be. I think it's cause I don't know. Maybe cause it's so cold right now or something. But no, it feels good. Yep, that's it. Not gonna mix it anymore. Sugar. I mean, you put it in there while I get I have. I'm going to do another. Uh, it's going to end up being three quarters. You uh, can write the. White sugar, yeah. He'll put the ingredients in, down below in the description. Yep. Did that sling out? Or yeah, it did, and I put it over there. It would have been fine, actually, like that, but our kids love them really sweet, so I usually add a little extra sugar. Let me see how thick that is. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. We used to mix these by hand. Oh my god, it's good to You hear me? Mm hmm. Well, I mean, we used to have the hand mixers too. But no, my, when I was a kid, my mom would always say, You want to mix the cookies? And it was so, <laughs> I'd be so tired. Oh, I know, but I'm just saying, used to, we used to have the hand mixer. I like that one better because. out I got a bacon sheet right here and I use one that's it's an older one and it's like seeds and it's been used a lot so it seems to not stick there's so butter spray and there's olive oil spray third shell I thought I put oh here see. oh what's this this was the rest of my other Crisco but I take some people take their fingers we use paper towels. Yeah, I take a paper towel. Just do it like this. Just grease the pan. Yeah. Like I said, some people may nowadays everybody's worried about what's in what, so yep. if you change it it's not gonna be the same. But if you want to try this Southern recipe, like it says, Southern style recipe. Got that greased. Okay. Now, I should have um, got that peanut butter. I'll put it. It's yeah. fine. You can make your balls as big as you want. Your balls as big as you want. <laughs> but um, I'm going to make these all about this size. And I take and I just, I'm going to do them, well, should I do them better? No. I don't know, I'm going to go this other way, because yeah. since, to see better. God, it smells so good. I have to watch, because I. You didn't pre-hit well, the, the oven. No, I'm going to. And we'll stop in just a minute when we start them and put them in the oven. Yeah. But, um, do not. You'll want to. You'll smell it, and you'll want to take a bite out of the batter, but don't because it's got raw eggs in it. You know what? Yep. And I did it. <laughs> You're pointing at me, saying, "You did it." I know. That's why I was like, "You did it." He's doing nice kid and getting in trouble. <laughs> Never made me sick, but it will probably make you. If you eat a lot of it, I'm sure it would. Yeah. You just did like one little. Taste. Somebody is standing up under me. One dog is. Waiting for something to drop. Let me guess, Zoe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Yeah. 
And this makes a lot of cookies, honestly. Mm-hmm. Normally, when you buy cookie mix, this only makes like, what, 24 at the most? Small ones. Yeah. yeah. These actually make a lot. And if you make them smaller than he's making them, yeah, they would actually make a lot more. Yeah. You see, this is what smush them down with see the old style fork like that i used to do crisscross in a way no that's how my mom used to do that what that way yep i see it's lard these butter melts at a um, lower temperature and i'll just squish that down better so it, they are completely flatten out most of the time before they rise. Lard doesn't, so these will stay this and they'll swell up bigger. And when they come out, gonna, then you put some Hershey Kisses on top. Yeah, but I'm gonna put them on 325 for. I'm gonna start with 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna check them to see what they look like. And we'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, y'all. We got. Um. 12, 12 seconds. seconds. We ended up on ours with 11, 11 minutes. So yours, I would I would keep an eye on it from, you know. Maybe 10, start at 10. Yeah, and then watch out because all stoves are totally different. Some are some are hotter than others. Yeah. They cook differently. See, some people would wait till they fall back down. They almost look, they almost look raw. But trust me, they're not. And they still cook while they're yeah. sitting on there, honestly. Yep, and you'll watch what this does. You see how they're really poofy. Is that a word, poofy? <laughs> yeah. I could have made them smaller, like Julie said, but... Yeah, that's what I was telling them. I said used to, when we did the um, did them for the kids, yeah. we always made the cookies smaller, so they were, they were just a little bit bigger than the Reese. Yeah. Reese, Hershey, sorry. Maybe about that size or a little bit. No, but it's you know, smaller. Right there yeah. Middle. Yeah. But I like them more peanut butter flavor. They, kids may only love them. Well, now that they're older, they kind of don't, you know what I'm saying? They still like them. They still like them, but they don't matter if they like them big. They like bigger cookies now instead of smaller ones. I know somebody's gonna say, "Why don't you have the recipe written down?" Because my mom never had it written written down, and I used to help her when I was really, really little, like five years old, probably all the way up to about nine or ten. So he just memorized it. Yeah, and I can tell by the taste of it also. So yeah. But for everyone, everybody who wants the recipe, he'll put it in the description, so that way you'll have it. Yep. With all the, you know, mix, you know, the ingredients and how many cups and. Yeah, by the time these cool, these um, Hershey Kisses, mm -hmm. they'll look like that, but they'll actually be completely melted where they you can if you want They won't be completely melted, but they'll be. Yeah, they'll be still somewhat, on the outside, yeah. but the inside will be completely gooey. Yeah, so we'll just come back yep. when they're completely cool. Okay, everybody, we're back. The pan is cool. Then so we're gonna take them, put them on one of these pretty plates. So basically, you see that. They come off the pan really easy. Yep. That's Crisco. And I'm gonna sh I'll show you in a minute. I'll save that one to the side to show you how. Look at that bottom. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> but that's all. Of them. But look, see how um, moist. Look at that. Oh, they're like m still moist and soft. I don't like hard cookies, do you? No. I love them. See the bottom of it? Huh? Check the bottom of it. Oh, yeah. See, perfect. Mm. Tastes amazing. Yep. Anyway, that's it. Southern style peanut butter cookies. You can use the um, Hershey cups or don't use them at all. Reese's. Reese's? Not why do I keep calling Reese's? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Hershey kisses. I don't know. Hershey kisses. Like I say, you can use them or not. Anyway, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed it. See y'all next time. Bye.